morning everyone and welcome to let's play the sims 4 cats and dogs part three okay i've just like recorded this part after the next part i just can't get enough of this let's play it's just like this expansion i mean oh my gosh anyway i hope you guys are enjoying it we're back to our little our little humble home that is massive um, but anyway, let's let's check out what everybody's doing now. It's very exciting. The kids actually have got their homework done. So yeah, this LP is off to a good start. Very exciting. Um, okay, here we've got little Lily eating. Okay, and let's just check her mood. How is she going? All right, she's doing okay. Uh, we will need her to go to the bathroom soon. And why are you barking? Oh, you need some food. All right, Lily, do you mind filling these pet bowls up. It looks like the butler ain't filling up the bowls. I'm not very happy about that. What's his name? Rachid? Rachid. Rachid. Rachid? I don't think it's Ratchet. I can call him Ratchet Rashid though. Anyway, um, okay, she's done that. Okay. There you go, little pom pom. I know, I think I've I think I've made you happy. Is it the food you wanted? And oh no, you've slept in. Oh no, he's gonna be in a really bad mood for school. But good news is he's already got to writing level two. So yeah, that's a good start. That's a good start. I'm, I'm very proud of him. There you go, Pom Pom, you're a good girl. And what are you doing? <gasps> What's over here? Are you gonna dig up the hole? Are you gonna dig this up? What are you doing? Where do you think you're going, Missy? <laughs> Get it? Where do you think you're going, Missy? Uh, classic. How far are you going to... Oh! You are going exploring. This is cool. What a great place for dogs and cats to live. This looks beautiful. Oh, and our butler's a cat lover. So you can actually travel to the lighthouse by clicking on this boat as a little sneaky shortcut. And look at the beach. Isn't it just stunning? Are you a stray? Stray! 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 Oh, the poor thing, Bartholomew, Bartholomew A. Bittle Bun Senior. What a name! <laughs> what a name! Oh, that looks so cute! Uh, let's not go to school yet. I just don't want to send him to school in such a bad mood because it's like, there's no point. Oh, and look, you're walking on a lead. Now, when we played the game uh, before it was finalized, there was no lead in the footage. So I'm glad that there is a lead now. That looks nice. Very good. And that's our friend. That's our friend Royce, who I kind of want us to get with. Um, I wouldn't mind that, actually. I would not mind that at all. Anyway, oh, he's eating his computer. This is what I do. Animal crackers. Oh, my gosh. Really? Uncle Clark, you're so cute. <laughs> He loves animals so much. Are you seriously making a whole new meal? Really, the butler should have done that. I'm not in. I'm not impressed with our butler. He's no Ricky from my Barbie LP, so I ain't happy. Okay, eat up, boy. You're missing school. Why do you, I wish they would stop putting food in the microwave? Oh, macaroni cheese, the best. Okay, so let's quickly eat that. Oh God, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have done this. We should have just sent you to school. Quickly, use the toilet. He's going to be two, two hours late. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, the main thing is he becomes a good writer. If his grades aren't fully up, he's talented in many other ways. So quickly, run, son. Go to school. Go to school. What are you doing? Okay, we need to give this little one a little bit of attention. And let's go here and say, what's wrong? Ask to go potty. I don't really understand why, oh my God, look at the walk on our maid. Girl, and that hair is bomb.com. I love her, she's my new favorite Sim. Who is this, can we marry her? Saya, 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 I feel like the names are tricky. And I'm glad we have some help around the house because it was gonna be a struggle to keep this house clean with pets and everything going on. All right, uh, little pom pom. Bom, bom, bitty, bom, bom. Okay, I love his slippers and his red nightgown. He's such a look up. All right. He's like, do you need to go to the toilet? It's Is that what's wrong with you? Yay, milestone complete. Uncle Clark has completed acquaintance. Oh, good girl. There's your good girl. Oh, you're so good. Are you gonna do a doozy as well? Do the doozy. 
Yeah, good girl. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, the maid's just stepped in the poo and the dog's like, yes. <laughs> oh, our second doozy. That's so exciting. All right, well, let's just leave that for the maze. I think Uncle Clark is a lazy sim. He doesn't like cleaning up. Uh, what else do you need, sweetie? Do you need a, a little bit of a hug? Maybe we should do a bit of a Simstagram account. Petstagram, Simster Petstagram. Uh, and what's wrong? I'm a little bit confused on what our little Skimble bundle of joy needs. <laughs> Like, I love you so much. You're such a cute little animal. Oh, tell a Jim Wibsy. Did she say what she needed? I didn't see that. A brush? Do you want to be brushed? Do you want to go for... You know what? Let's go for a jog. Maybe the pet needs a little bit of jog love. And, okay, Missy's just roaming around the house. I feel like the cats are better at looking after themselves than the dogs. I just sense that. And I guess that's true in real life oh, as well. Uh, it's like, oh, you want to go for a walk? I'll take you for a walk. Okay, let's go for a walk. Uh, what's up? Say what? When answering a question Aaron used forbidden words, it really shocked the teacher. Oh no, punish away. <laughs> Do you want to? I thought we were going for a jog. I'm pretty sure we are now. Oh, he's giddy. He's like, oh my god, it is the cutest dog ever. Requires having a ball in inventory to play fetch. Well, maybe we should go that and go for a jog. Put an inventory. Uh, let's just do an easy assignment for you. And... Go and walk. I want to go for a jog and watch, uh, watch the pet run with us. Okay, we'll see how we go. And what's over here? Oh, these are just a couple of toys I had lying around the yard when I built this house. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. What happened to your adorable outfit? Why does it have to get naked when it goes for a walk? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Where's its collar? Do you have like different outfit options? I don't know. But can I just say how adorable? Whoa, whoa, that dog is fast. How awesome is, I can never remember his name. Uncle Clark, Uncle Clark's little short shots. He's a bit fabulous, Uncle Clark. And um, wow, wow, you guys are really running. I'm impressed. Let's go to the beach. I want you to go down to the beach. Hopefully they will. I think that's automatically where they're going with a bit of luck. No, go down this way. Yay! They're actually jogging to the beach. I love this. Oh, is that all? Is that all for the jog? Okay. It was short and sweet. <laughs> okay. All right. Um... Let's maybe, we'll just direct them down here. Let's go, where is our, oh yes, we can encourage Pom Pom to do her business in the neighbor's yard. What is our maid doing? She's just going for a walk, just getting some fresh air. <gasps> Nougat's a stray. Oh, poor Nougat. I'm so sad. I want, it, I want to adopt an elderly stray. I think that would be Excellent. Where did we go? Okay, cool. We're still jogging around the place. Uh... Is me quay. Okay, try and do your business while we're out for a walk. Oh! The lead's kind of a bit funny. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what is going on in here? Is this a woo-woo? Oh, requires pet training, training skill level level three for a pet to explore. Uh, I feel really sorry for Nuga, but we can't just adopt every pet we see. So, okay, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, let's maybe send pet to explore. All right, well, let's get our pet training skill up a little bit. Let's teach a little pom pom some more things. So let's go more choices, training, uh, sit. Let's
let's teach you to sit. And we're going to do it on an awkward hill. Excellent. Inside a rock. <laughs> this is great. Good start, you guys. Uh, oh, no. What, what, what happened to little pom-pom? Come on, pom-pom. Let's speed this up. We ain't got all day. I feel like that lead is impossibly long. Okay, we're doing it in the grass. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, good job. Reach level one of the pet's training skill. Okay. Awesome. And we already have so many friends from the vet clinic, which is really nice. It looks like you, if you're a vet, you make you do make friends with the animals very quickly, so that's good. And we do need to open up the vet again. Okay, this might take a little while. Okay, Lily is home from school, Anne's home from school. Alright, well we can just get them to take care of their needs, get their fun up, have a shower, do all that good stuff. Oh my god, this poor guy really, really needs help. Uh, okay, and how are they actually doing at school? C student still, she did her homework. Oh, she needs to get one skill to Joy level ba. two to help her out. Joy ba. Uh, well, creativity is one. Uh, well. <laughs> okay, well, what we might do is we'll get her to start drawing a little bit uh, at her art table so we can get that skill up. That would probably be good. Uh, and Jade, wow, Jade's in a terrible mood as well. I feel like so much of this LP is just making everyone happy with the pets. Okay, smart lesson. Pom Pom is a smart dog. They're easy to train and learn things very quickly. And she's already learned how to sit. What an amazing dog. Okay, I, you know what? I've played The Sims for about 3000 hours. So I feel like that's wrong. <gasps> is that Nuka? Oh guys, Nuka's sick. Oh, we can't leave a sick dog here. Oh my god, that's the hot guy. Okay, I do want to do a cautious introduction. And oh, good. The siblings just be became good friends. Nuga? Nuga? I'm coming for you, Nuga. Oh, Nuga's gone. What? Where did Nuga go? Okay, Nuga's. Oh well. Alright, so, um. Let's think about this. What else can we do? What? Pet training is at level one. It shouldn't take us that long to get pet training to level two, but we are a little bit busting. So Pom Pom has defeated a wild squirrel in portable combat. Good job. Praise, nice. Okay, can we go to the toilet now? I feel like, oh, there's no way to go to the toilet. Okay, fine, we'll go home then. Take Pom Pom home, use the toilet, and then we'll do a little bit more of pet training as well. Pom Pom's going to be a very, very well behaved dog. So that is exciting. Okay, we'll just quickly go to the bathroom. How's everyone else going? Okay, this little one's doing well. Getting her creativity skill up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So she can just keep doing that. Jade is still not in a great mood. We'll just let her have some fun. Uh, and she needs a little bit of a social life as well. And you don't need to clean up, buddy. Just, you know, take care of your hunger. I wouldn't mind if Jade, maybe on the weekend, Jade can do a little bit of work experience at the vet. Because if we can get her vet, vet skill up, I can't say that, veterinarian. <laughs> it's an anemone. That veterinarian, there we go, skill up. Then uh, when she's an adult, she can run a really successful business. So that's good. And maybe take over the business. So good stuff. Good stuff. All right. And you just need to go to the bathroom. I don't know why it's taking so freaking long to just use the potty. Like, dude. I think, oh, because of the leash, right. Okay, so keep an eye on that little leash icon there because it'll stop your sim from actually doing other tasks. Uh, okay, cool. And then I think we'll open the vet, maybe tonight, Thursday night, the vet can be open late. Kind of like that idea. I would like you to... Now where's that diary, that journal we had? 
Is it in anyone's inventory? Hmm. Look over here. And that's oh no! Oh gosh, now he's got like rabies. Okay, let's. Okay, you need food. Oh my gosh, this house is just like crazy. <laughs> okay, so you need first thing first. I'm a realist. Let's get you to buy medicine. We need the medicine. Where is the medicine? Here we go. Purchase medicine. Money is not an issue in this family. Let's just get two bottles just to be safe. Let's take the medicine. Uh, excellent. Cat's happy. He's happy. The maid is probably still on Schmoko. Uh, the butler, I don't know what he's doing, but he should be good. Okay, she's in a much better mood. Excellent. And you know what? Let's get some hunger down. She's like really antisocial. I guess after your parents have died, you know, you might be a little more lonely and like just be alone um, and not have as much confidence to talk with others. I can understand that. So this is really nice. Her brother's going to talk to him and talk to her and just be like, hey, how are you doing? What do you think of the new school? I love it. I think it's awesome. I love the library. Oh my gosh. I love a good library. Has anyone ever said that? Actually, there's a really nice library near me, actually. So I have said that. Okay. Acquired the comedy skill. All right, well, it looks like these siblings are having a little bit of a nice time together. Get something to eat. All right, and I think it's almost time to go open the night shift at the vet. So that's good. We probably won't be open for long because we don't have a lot of energy right now. Uh, and you know what? Let's get little Lily to ask what's wrong with the pet. What's wrong with Missy? Because... <laughs> because Missy is looking like she needs something. Yay, me. She's like, Rena. what's wrong, Lily? Oh, she just needs some attention. Okay. Well, after we have something to eat, we'll offer friendship. We'll give her a little bit of attention. I feel like Lily and Missy are the closest. Do not go near our food, Missy. I will not be happy. Oh, she's in bed. She went to bed before having a social life. Oh, well. Maybe they can meet some friends at school. Okay, so let's open up this vet clinic. I want to explore the vet clinic a little bit more. So let's go there. Let's open it up. Uh, oh, and we do have some perk points. Let's see, additional vet. That would be good because then we don't really have to go to the vet. Ooh, unlock vet supply quality. Ability to set the quality of vet supplies. Increases the number of patients who come to your clinic. Uh, okay, interesting. Well managed, lowers the chance of bad events happening. Reduce pet stress. That would be a good one. No wonder that one's so expensive. Unlocks a bonus lab coat for your sims. I want the lab coat. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's, I guess, what makes the most sense is to upgrade our vet. Um, so that's good. So let's maybe... Oh, we need to be on the lot. Okay, well, let's go to our Brindleton Hospital and see... What's going on? Let's get another vet there and hopefully we can really grow this clinic and get a lot of people coming in and a lot of our vets can, we'll train them. Uh, Sup, Sapi is doing well. Uh, one of you guys actually told me how to pronounce her name. I think it's Zupriya, Zupriya, Zupriya. Dorothy, you know, they're not great. Lord Colts McGuinness, he looks like a friendly fellow. Uh, let's see. I think maybe Dorothy looks like a trustworthy vet. Let's get her to come in. So she will... You know what? Let's close. We didn't make any money, but that's fine. So let's reopen. Uh, and that way both vets should come to work. And then also I think what we need to do is... 
can we mark up the price a little bit more and do some advertising? Let's do it. Let's get savage with this clinic. I mean, we have a lot of money. Clearly, like, clearly Uncle Clark knows that something's going on. Uh, he knows how to make the money. He knows how to run a business. Something crazy go is going down at the ruins. No, Katarina. I'm busy. And yeah, good. You need the coffee. Where is everyone? Why is no one bringing their pets in? Maybe because we're open at 1030 at night. I thought it wouldn't matter what time we opened. <gasps> I see. Ooh. Lord Colt, the pet owner. Okay, let's say hello to this guy. Uh, oh, he's bringing in his cat, Griselda. Oh, look at you, little Griselda. Aren't you a nice looking, looking lass? Okay, he looks like a very nice gentleman. This strange man, Lord Colt, comes into our humble veterinarian clinic. Uh, greet patient. Hello, Lord Colt. What a pleasure to meet you. I've never seen Griselda acting like this before. I hoped it would go away, but it's only gotten worse. Please see what Young you can boy. do. Nothing. Oh, absolutely. He looks kind of scary. He looks, he has a monobrow, you guys. He has a monobrow. Okay, Griselda, come in here. Okay, the examination has begun. We're in the yellow room. So we've got two rooms for examining patients. And can you please do your job? Thank you. <laughs> that was so savage. Okay, let's calm the patient first. That's the most important thing. And let's test her ears. The treatment, we don't have any clues for what the treatment is needing, but I guess we will start to recognize some of the obvious things happening. Like, I feel like she's obviously got fleas or something, which would be... Uh -huh. Like a parasite kill spray. You know what? Let's just try it. If we get that on the first go, that would be good. Wait! What? Why are you leaving? Excuse me? Oh. What? Is this really glitchy? I don't understand. What happened just then? Did I stop examining her without realizing? I don't know. Let's just go straight to the punch. I rec- I- Excuse me? Okay, something's really glitchy about this. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. He's giving us a four-star rating though, which is surprising. Uh, and I feel like we definitely need more examination tables. What is going on? I don't understand. I do not understand. <laughs> you already have a patient you're examining. Well, why can't we just examine? Should we begin a procedure? I don't know. Oh, because this lady wants to use our table, I think. Okay, well, that that doesn't... I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. It didn't work properly. Okay, well, let's just... Where can we place this? We'll just have to place it here, you know? It's a busy Thursday night. You gotta do what you gotta do. So let's just open up this other examination table and we'll begin, 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 begin examining Zel Griselda again. So that was the problem. Okay, so we've got our two vets working. This guy's unhappy about how long it's taking. Oh no. He thinks it's good looking, but it, we're taking a little bit long. Okay, let's just go straight to calming the pet once again. And I want to do the treatment of Parasite Killer Spray. Because that looks like the problem. Oh, now the Parasite... Now there's no fleas. Oh, well, maybe we should move to surgery station. I want to do surgery. Anyway. I guess we'll have to test a few things afterwards. He's just sitting here. Yay! I told you, you guys! We cured the sickness! We are that good. That took, like... We were so fast. That's right. Lord Colt. We got this covered for you. Hip bump. Give him a hip, give him a hip bump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that can be like his thing. Interesting cat there. Very, very interesting looking cat indeed. Uh oh. I'm so happy. Great patient warmly. I'm so sorry. We only have a limited amount of tapes. We definitely need to expand this clinic. Wolfie means the world to me and she's been feeling awful lately. Really sorry about the time there, uh, Mr. Whatever your name is. Okay, we're definitely working the night shift. Starting to get a little bit tired. <laughs> okay, so you've got to <laughs> be mean to the pet. I don't think so. Um, the pet's already calm, so that's good. This is this is so much fun. So it's got a dribbly mouth. Hmm. Ah. Antifungal spray. Ooh, hand face I, mean, I don't know. Let's just exam examination, please. And it looks like the mouth is a bit huh. gross. Love that little burger toy. <laughs> okay. Are you still angry at us? Oh, good. Our rating's gone up. Oh, what was that? Oh, uncru oh, great. That was really easy. Essence of placebo test. So sometimes it's really very easy to find out what's wrong with a pet. Uh, you can get through them quite quickly. I think we're one of the best vets ever. Yay! Cured sickness! Slay, daddy! Okay, how much have we made today? Fabusabe? Uh, we've made 300 We've made $500 today. So you can earn some good money from running a vet clinic. I am very happy with this. We're feeling energized. The friendliest introduction to this pet. All right, you guys. Well, why? Oh, wow. Wow, we. Okay. Let's do one more pet. I want to put a pet in a machine. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to do surgery on a pet. And we're level three, so that's good. This girl needs a little bit of training as well. Um, let's promote her. So she... Oh, we should probably promote this chick because we do not want her to leave. And we also need to keep you guys both training. I feel like we should close the shop. Oh my god, there's so many pets! A promotion for me. Okay, the important thing is to get your staff in order first though, so we're just getting them in order. Training after my shift, are you helping me improve or are you trying to tell me I'm not good enough? Either way, I better study hard. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I think we're going to close the shop for tonight. Let's close up. We've still only got a two-star rating, so we need to make it look nicer and the value of service. Maybe it's a little bit too expensive, but we made $378. That's good. And the wait time was short. I do think we did really well today and both of our, um, both of our ladies are satisfied, so that's good. Uh, okay, bye everyone. Thanks for coming to the clinic. And sorry, it's not a nice enough ambience for you guys. Oh, I love you, Royce. I'm sorry. I feel bad not being able to treat all of these pets, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just want to take them all home and fix them all. We need more vets. We need to hire like three vets. And oh, I can't wait until... Jade starts running her own vet clinic. We can make it like really cute and maybe a little, we can do like an interesting vet build. If you guys have any ideas down below, do let me know, do let me know. Uh, okay guys, well, I'm gonna finish this part right here cause we're almost at mm. half an hour. But anyway you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.